Make I update to now see the heart. But the ADS, knock them the update. <laughs> Who did the custodian of President Buhari's 12 million northern votes? PDP, APC, LNPP, or Labour Party? This is our discussion today. What a beautiful way to begin the new year. Make we run a city hot no time. My name is ADS. Now, watch this video. The political behavior of the northern voter, they always find somebody to rally around. In the last almost 17, 18 years, they rallied around President Mahmoud uh, Nabuhari, where he consistently continued to post that 12 million uh, vote. I tell you this today, and in the next three months, you are going to confirm it. The beneficiary of that 12 million vote in the northern part of the country is Konkoso. What so for Konkoso Abu for, look, I, I, I think Abu Bakr, they are carrying a lot of uh, liability. That's not the spokesperson of the Presidential Council of the New Nigeria People's Party, NNPP, where he named Abdul Mumin Jibrin. Him, they claim, say, eh, him principal, Rabi Okwankwaso, now the rightful owner of President Buhari's 12 million northern votes. The argument, now, say, ever since President Buhari begin to contest to become Nigeria's president before him finally succeed in 2015. Him being pulled 12 million northern votes consistently. <laughs> As Buhari loaded the picture again now, who will collect these 12 million northern votes in February? The spokesperson of the People's Democratic Party, PDP Presidential Council, where he named now, Daniel Buala, that also claims say the supposed President Buhari's 12 million northern votes belong to him principal, Atiku Abubakar. Make you now watch this video. The group of five governors, as you have called them, have not been a part of the campaign so far. That much they have made clear. Are you saying that their absence or lack of support for the presidential bid of Atiku Abubakar has had no effect negatively on the campaigns? And should they eventually uh, endorse a candidate other than Atiku Abubakar? Are you also saying that will not cost your party and your principal? So let me put it this way. When you said I'll put a cold, I laugh because I was thinking you have something new. There is nothing they are doing now that they have not done before. Is it wordplay? Is it sequence? Is it a war of attrition? They have thrown virtually everything in the kitchen. If you are in Nigeria, you must have seen in the various commissioning and meetings and everything, things have been said, yet it has not taken a mile from our movement. We are the leading party. If you look at our rallies, let me tell you this, and it's a bold statement you can verify. Atiku has inherited the over 12 million votes that Buhari has carried for these years. All you need to do is to look at Katsina rally and to look at all the rallies of APC in the North Central and Northwest. Throughout, any time they chant uh, Nigeria, the people will say, say Atiku. Anywhere, Nigeria say Atiku. It is a movement. Daniel Ebuala believes say, the G5 governors, where the governor of River State, Inyas Nwike, be their leader. No day too important for Atiku to win presidential election come February 25th. Daniel Ebuala believes say, Atiku, now the authentic custodian of the supposed president Buhari's 12 million northern votes. Him reason now say, just like the popular slogan from the North, will be, say Buhari, say Buhari. <laughs> when our president Buhari gets, eh, now he owes slogan be that, where the Northern people give him. The Northerners don't shift from say Baba to say Atiku. Say Atiku. <laughs> Is this enough reason to believe, say, eh, Atiku don't get 12 million votes already, even before the election? On uh, February 25th. Remember, say, we get strong Muslims where they contest this election, and all of them believe, say, eh, them get out inside not. We get Atiku Abubaka of the PDP, Rabi Okonkwaso of the NNPP, and Bola Ahmed Tinubu of the APC. All of them are Muslims, them be. So, they won't make we believe, say, eh, now one of them 
go collect all the president uh, Buhari 12 uh, million northern votes. Abi, lie, I doubt. Also, remember, say, we be report last week, say the G5 governors been travel enter London to decide who them go endorse for president. Some party members and party loyalists been talk some kind things, eh? Where they feel say, eh, it no make sense. Now, the G5 governors don't come back to Nigeria. Their chairman will be in here some week. He no waste time to review more things about the presidential candidates of his party, the PDP, Atiku Abubak. Here for yourself. I'm going to watch. What is the condition we are giving? We are giving no condition. But we forget history. In 2002 and 2003, one president... Olusegun Obasanjo wanted to run for second tenure. A whole president wanted to run for a second term. He knelt down before his vice. He knelt down before his vice presidential candidate, the uh, vice president, and said, "My vice, please allow me to run." You know the condition he gave him. One of the conditions. You know what he gave him. Tony Anini must be sacked as Minister of Works. And Tony Anini must not be the President Campaign Council. Obasanjo obliged and sacked Tony Anini as Minister of Works. And removed him from President Council and brought him back to South South. And people are talking. This is a president, a president. His own vice giving him condition. A retired general. He knelt down. My vice, please, allow me to run for a second term. And he was given conditions. This one, we are not even doing that. We are not saying, sack this one, give for the. No. We are only saying, by the constitution of our party, by what the national chairman said, and by what you told me in my house. When he came to see me. Now you have gotten the president. We are not fighting about it. We say you have taken. We don't want to fight. Okay. Give us the national chairman. And you say no. We will not listen to you. Don't give us condition. Something that is touching on the foundation. Of the unity of a country. We can expose say. President Olushengo Obasanjo, who article na him vice president when him be day office, be knee down to beg Atiku, his vice, to allow him contest for second term. That is, a Yoruba man be knee down before him junior to beg for a favor. <laughs> he get a CBO na very uh, this is wrong orientation for Yoruba land be that. See elder prostrate before the younger one to ask for a favor. It is not obtainable anywhere in the Yoruba land. And only Shego Basanja, na Yoruba man. <laughs> we cannot talk plenty things about the person of Atiku Abubakar. And nobody don't come out and say, eh, hey, we can you the lie. Is this a case of silence is acceptance? Or that silence is golden. Or that silence is the best answer to a fool. I don't know which one be the case here. Anywhere where you be, everything where we can, don't talk against Atiku Abubaka. It don't enter whew, straight to social media. And if it affects Atiku and in presidential uh, ambition, no doubt, no cap, that one are the truth. Now be that. When are hear me so? Finally, don't forget say, PVC collection, they on now. Eh? And you go close on the 22nd of February. I beg, hurry now and collect your own. So you self, eh, you self, you go follow, eh, you go follow be part of, eh, how they take the column? Nigeria decides 2023. <laughs> so you go follow, take that decision. Oh, now they hear me so. Go collect your PVC now. So on this note, my fellow Nigerians, I will say, happy New Year to you and your family. Onanona, I go see you tomorrow. Oh yeah, wait. 
You don't collect updates, you won't run away at the one Biko 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 subscribe, subscribe, Angelo, Biko, the Allah, subscribe. <laughs>